What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with brand new WWE action figure news, and it's actually a really big day of news because we have two WWE Elite Waves to discuss, and they are coming on the heels of WWE Elite Series 105, and today, we are covering WWE Elite Series 106 and 107. Now, I did see these images, or not these images. It's not like actual figure images. However, it is an image of the full lineups leaked out there or talked about, and apparently, this comes from a journey. German retailer or something like that. And you guys know that way in advance, usually they get the list of their inventory so they can make their tracks and they can cross their T's, dot their I's, get the process ready to go, get their UPC codes and all their systems up to date. And so today, I think it was WWE Figure Universe or WWE Figure Maniac or something like that, I think was the original source of the material. I'm not completely sure about that because I saw a bunch of people sharing it all over and things get mixed between. So today we're diving into WWE Elite Series 106 and WWE Elite Series 106. Seven man. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the lineups and talk about it because I know you guys are ready to go and ready to listen to it, man. So starting out first, we have WWE Elite Series 106 starting out at the top, man. It's kind of crazy when you get into this because we have so many of these guys lately, it seems like, and for good reason, but the first two figures in the set are going to be Jimmy and Jay Uso. We have the Usos coming. Now, I know a lot of people, I don't think that you'll moan and groan about it because I feel like a lot of people are after Uso figures. I feel like they're highly soft after. I, for one, love collecting their figures. I like the different jogger looks that we got, right? We, we started way back. Their first figures are nothing like their figures now, but, you know, we had the Elite 54 white Usos. Then we got the Elite 64, the red Usos, which are beautiful. And then, you know, it took a long time. We never got to see black jogger Usos until finally they made an Elite 95 Jimmy Uso. They had the Elite 90 J Uso, but it was in white, which totally baffled our minds. But then we finally got our top picks Jimmy and our SummerSlam J in their matching bloodline black joggers with the blo the bloodline accents and stuff like that. So I'm sure that this is going to obviously be one of their bloodline gears. I, I don't know if it's going to be red, if it's going to be like their gear that was white that had like one day or something like that and it said the Usos or the bloodline or something on it and it kind of looked like the 100 emoji if you guys remember that. But not only that, but we also have their Ultimate Edition figures coming that are ringside exclusive. It's like the Ultimate Edition Usos 2-pack from Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. We have seen those as well, so we're getting a lot of Uso figures. I, again, I don't think people care. I think people want these figures. I, for one, am a huge Usos fan, so I am all over the Uso figures, and this is a way for them to correct the Jimmy and Jay head sculpt debacle that we've all been discussing for a while now. It's been like over a year now, a year plus, that we've discussed the debacle and the Usos and the botchery and the head sculpt, so maybe they can finally fix that. Give us a proper Jimmy and Jay head sculpt that separates those two. Hopefully, one of them's not yet yelling, you know, that's a whole thing in itself, so they did, they have always effed up the Usos head sculpts in some capacity, whether it be haircut or likeness or this or that, so hopefully this is the time they finally get it right with both of these guys, and they knock it out of the park with Elite 106, Jimmy and Jay Uso. Diving into our next figure in the set, guys, is going to be none other than Sami Zayn. Yes, Sami Zayn is returning here, Elite Series 106. We saw him back in Elite 102, it was on his gear from his WrestleMania match with Johnny Knox. Knoxville, so I'm guessing this is going to be a bloodline Sami Zayn. I don't know what gear it could be, you know, because the Elite 102 Sami was from WrestleMania 38, and that's over a year plus now, and so we're jumping up to Elite 106. I don't, I feel like it's going to be sometime in like summer or late 2022, maybe. I don't think it'll be like, you know, his early 2023 gear. That would blow my mind. I just don't see that happening. I do, however, see it. Pro they could probably throw in the honorary U shirt probably for Sami Zayn. I could see them doing something like that, but getting another Sami Zayn Elite, I know a lot of people are looking for that. The Elite 102 is a good stand-in Sami, but I'm sure that people are going to be waiting on that Sami Zayn to plug in there with their bloodline that's a little bit more accurate, maybe has the honorary Ooh shirt, stuff like that, so that Sami Zayn version should be really nice in the set. Next up, we have Chad Gable from Alpha Academy. I think this is, you know, we saw a teaser of this back at WrestleMania weekend when we toured the Mattel Design Center. If you guys remember that, they shared a photo, I do believe, and it was of a cloth good shoe shirt 
and this is obviously going to be going with the Chad Gable. I thought maybe Otis would be in this set, but he's not. There's no Otis in this set, so we only have Chad Gable represented here from Alpha Academy. I like this. I love Chad Gable. I like his gears here, and I think it doesn't have to be an Alpha Academy gear unless they literally put like one of his gears that said Alpha Academy, but I want to say most of them look like a damn Spider-Man 2099. They're like blue and have like these reflective red pieces and gold pieces and things going all over the place, so should be it should make for a really good figure. I'm looking forward to this Chad Gable. We haven't seen a Chad Gable Elite in a really long time. They nail his likeness most of the time, so this should be a pretty good figure. I am looking forward to the Chad Gable figure, and hopefully it will be damn good. It's going to have double jointed arms. I'm sure it'll be a nice singlet, nice boot. It's, it should be good. I'm looking forward to Chad Gable. Always nice to have a new Elite Chad Gable. It has been a while, so having a Chad Gable Elite will be nice. This next one is very interesting, guys. We have Roseanne Perez. Now, this one actually kind of shocked me. Didn't expect to see her in the main WWE Elite line. You know, I'm all for getting new characters into the line here. I think this is a good addition. I think it's probably going to be her plaid gear. If I had a guess, it would probably be her plaid gear. I could be wrong about that. That's just what I'm going based off of, but that shocked me. When I saw that name on the list, I was like, oh, okay, that's a, that's a nice little addition. Getting some new names thrown into the mix is very nice. That'll be really cool to get a Roseanne Perez here. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that, especially the, the people that only collect women's action figure, so that'll be interesting for sure. Hopefully they nail all the likeness and the scaling. It should be really good. Women's figures now are really damn good, man, when you include the double-jointed arms and double-jointed knees. Women's figures have came so far, and it's so beautiful to see because they don't make me want to throw them out in the yard. So that'll be a nice addition to our WWE women's action figure collections. And then rounding out WWE Elite Series 106, our flashback collectors are going to be nice here. We have a newly updated WWE Elite Paul Bearer. Yes, Paul Bearer returning to the Elite line here. I don't think he's ever had a mainline Elite. We saw him in the Hall of Champions. We saw him in a couple Build-A-Figure sets, I do believe. So getting a new Paul Bearer, I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this. I'm sure with the updated body, you know, they're probably going to put it on the Paul Heyman 3-pack Elite body. If I had to guess, maybe black suit, black tie, maybe a purple tie somewhere in there. An ooing style, like, not kissy face, but you know what I'm saying, like a ooing style head sculpt, maybe a pissed off head sculpt. That should be really fun to see a Paul Bearer. And that'll be really nice to pair with all kinds of Undertakers that we've seen, man. So that'll be a really sick figure. I can't wait to see what this looks like. Now, obviously, with Elite Series 106 being announced, we got Elite Series 107, of course, and we saw prototypes and different things at WrestleMania weekend there. You know, they showed off all those damn figures. I guarantee at San Diego Comic-Con coming up in less than a month, man, we're like three and a half weeks away or just three weeks away from Comic-Con. We're going to see all of these figures, man. We're going to see new Ultimates. We're going to see Elite Series 104. We're going to see Elite Series 105, 106, 107. We're going to see plenty of renders. You guys know that SDCC is massive. And Steve told me personally that he said he doesn't know how they're going to top WrestleMania weekend at San Diego Comic-Con, but I feel like they're going to bring all of the smoke, man. I cannot wait to see what we get here. And again, I haven't made a video on it officially discussing the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, but that will come in due time. But that is Elite Series 106, man. Let's dive into WWE Elite Series 107. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this, man. A lot of people are going to be excited about this, so go ahead and buckle the hell up, Brad. We have our first time in the line WWE Elite LA Knight figure man yes sir we have LA Knight finally coming into the Elite line I know a lot of people have been waiting on this guy of course Elite 107 is not tomorrow right this is going to be probably near the fall sometime maybe even we're probably looking at around Halloween time before these come in if I had to guess I guess if you went like one Elite set per month or usually it's like what one and a half months or something like that we're almost in July yeah it's probably going to be late fall if I had to guess when they hit ringside collectibles but L.A. Knight is the chase figure in this set as well, man. So you get two L.A. Knights, which means that he's probably not going to get a figure for a long damn time. But hopefully the biggest thing with this figure is going to be nailing the formula. What formula are they going to use for L.A. Knight? What gears are they going to select? And I look forward to this figure. I think it should be great. I'm not a big L.A. Knight guy. However, I can appreciate a damn good figure. And if it looks like the guy and it nails the likeness, I'm all aboard that. So L.A. Knight getting the chase here should be really good. I hope it's got a good head sculpt and all the different bells and whistles that you love to see on your Elite figures. I'm going to be honest, Elite 107 is a banger 
future wave. So let's get into the rest of the wave here. Next up is going to be Cody Rhodes. Yes, sir. You should have known, Brad. You probably thought he was going to be in both of these sets. But Cody Rhodes is coming in Elite Series 107. Now, I I have kind of made this suggestion and kind of a prediction on San Diego Comic-Con. I think we're going to see a mainline Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes figure coming soon. You know, maybe not the next Ultimate Edition wave, but maybe Ultimate Edition like 2021, somewhere in there. And also it was announced that we're getting three Ultimate Editions per wave now moving forward. So you're not going to see two in a set. You're going to see three in a set. So that probably is going to leave room for more guys getting Ultimate Editions. You know, we're going to see more repaints of older Ultimate Editions, and it should be really nice. But Cody Rhodes is the next figure in Elite 107, and I look forward to that. And I think it should be a damn good day, man. I think we're going to get his WrestleMania gear. I think we're going to get his Royal Rumble win. I think we're going to get all those things. And we're probably going to get some of those in Ultimate Edition form. But he is here in Elite Series 107. Excited to see what gear it is. You guys know I love Cody Rhodes. I enjoy his figures. Should be a banger right there. Next up is Seth freaking Rollins. We get another Seth Rollins here. Really good figure selection here just because Seth Rollins has so many damn good gears, you know, and I hope that it's, I want to say I hope it's the like the purplish, bluish, you know, like lime green attire, and I could see it also being his WrestleMania 38 gear versus Cody Rhodes. We already got an Ultimate Edition of that Cody. I could see this being his WrestleMania 38 gear. I don't know if it'll be that one or the one that I'm showing on screen. I'm just putting up a bunch of different stuff, but hopefully this figure will be damn good. I imagine it will be. I love the new formula for Seth Rollins. Hopefully by Elite 107. I could see them reusing an Ultimate Edition head sculpt. All those Ultimate Edition head sculpts were so good. So I'm sure that Seth Rollins will be a banger. And then moving on to the next figure in the set is going to be Asuka. Now one thing I'd love to see with this Asuka is her Royal Rumble gear. And so you guys know that she came out in face paint. It was a big deal and everything like that. I don't know if that's in the cards because you guys know it takes a long time for a figure to come out. I don't know if that was long ago enough to render her a face paint head sculpt in this figure, but I hope it does. I hope it is that, and I would love to see an Ultimate Edition of her Royal Rumble gear, Return of the Face Paint, you know, different head sculpts, tongue out head sculpt, things like that. I'd love to see an Ultimate Edition like that. Maybe we'll see that at Comic-Con. Maybe they're going to put her into one of these upcoming Ultimate Edition lines with a robe and stuff like that, but Asuka is the next figure in Elite Series 107 as our women's talent. I think she deserves a figure. You know, it's been a while since her last figure is like Elite 87 or something like that. And her figures are always damn good. They pose around well. And then next up in the set, we have Rey Mysterio. Now, again, take your pick, man. There's going to be so many damn Rey Mysterio figures flying all over the damn place in this year. You guys know last year was like the year of Rey Mysterio. Man was in every other wave. You, you freaking turn your head around. There's another Rey Mysterio coming at you. So we're going to continue to do this. We're going to probably, at San Diego Comic Con, probably going to see 10 Rey Mysterios revealed to us. We have that Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition coming soon. We have the Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Edition coming soon. And you guys know they're going to continue to pump out Rey Mysterio. And it's just the way of the world, man. Rey Mysterio goes around. It's just uh, Elite figures all day. All damn day you get Rey Mysterio figures. And he's here again in Elite Series 107. And then rounding out our set, which is probably the figure I don't know if it's the one I'm most excited for, but it's definitely up there, man. It is going to be a Rob Van Dam Elite figure, man. And the only way this figure is going to be that sought after for me. I don't care. It, it's Rob Van Dam. It's one of my favorites of all time. I'm going for it no matter what, obviously. But the gear that I want to see is the WrestleMania 22 Money in the Bank ladder match Red Dragon gear with the airbrushed Money in the Bank briefcase, man. I don't want nothing else. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's plenty of gears they could choose for RVD, right? They already made my Tiger Stripes. It, it's, it's always been one of my favorite gears of all time. But the Money in the Bank WrestleMania 22, give me the goofy god dang Red Dragon airbrush Money in the Bank briefcase, and I'll be happiest man. They do that for me, I'll lose my mind. I mean, that will be absolutely incredible. I remember I called the Tiger Stripes in Elite Series 91. Blew my mind. Now we're looking at Elite 107, baby. Give me the WrestleMania 22 Red Dragon Airbrush Money in the Bank briefcase RVD action figure, and all will be right in the world. But that is our full sets, man. We have Elite Series 106, Jay and Jimmy Uso, Sami Zayn, Chad Gable, Roseanne Perez, Paul Bearer, and then Elite Series 107, we have LA Knight, who is the chase, Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, Asuka, Rey Mysterio, and RVD. Pretty solid. I'd like to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this. We already obviously know what what is coming in Elite Series 104, Elite Series 105. We covered it on the channel not too long ago. Like We covered Elite like 103 through 105, and now we have Elite Series 106 and 07. And I know we're going to be seeing all of this stuff at San Diego Comic-Con, and it should be really sick. And there's going to be plenty of surprises and things of 
to, to come. I know of a I know of a pack coming soon. I have no idea what the hell is behind that. I, I don't know what they're going to do with that one, but it should be very interesting as well. But I'd love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of Elite Series 106 and Elite Series 107. But that is going to wrap up today's news, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on all of it down in the comment section below. But before we get out of here, huge shout out to our patron backers of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron member, definitely check out the links in the description below. Always greatly appreciated. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>